All right, guys. Today I have here this Quadro P1000, and this is in theory supported by Nouveau. So why not? I'm gonna install it in the Power Mac G5. I had no success with the AMDs, but maybe Nvidia is gonna be my luck, and then this will be the fastest GPU ever installed in a G5. Let's see. It actually works. Of course, I mean, works here is a huge stretch, but we have image and it just, it loads. I'll get in touch with the Nouveau guys and see if I can help. Let's try to open the terminal here. This is far beyond anything I'll have ever expected. So, Let's just go to Termit here, and let's do Neo Fetch. And look at this. Let's switch to a console here. So let's try. You see, so instead of black, it shows blue. But if I will just log in. And do a Neo Fetch. Look at this! It's a Power Mac G5 PCI Express running a Quadro P1000 and this is a very recent GPU. I think it's the same family as the... How's it called? 1080, 1060 and so on. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's the case. So pretty impressive stuff right here um, let's see what happens if I try something like VLC let's see if we get anything to run so let's just open VLC here ew, it doesn't look good do I have GLX gears? I do have GLX ge gears and it seems to be other accelerated. It's moving things quite smoothly. So let's try to open an application that I know uh, that has problems to with redraw. Let's try going to graphics, and that would have been Krita, I guess. Krita moves very slowly. Uh, the um, GeForce is not very happy at resizing the window or anything like that. This could well be an engineer's issue, and I'm quite sure now that there is a machine for tests that I could help fix the problem. Let me go here again. Let's have a look on the output. Oh, the Mazgill, however, you say that. It looks very clean, much cleaner than how I get with the GeForce and that issue with DRM I mentioned in my previous video. Oh, this window moves so nicely. So now I know the bottleneck is actually the old GeForce, the 6600. 6, 6, uh, let me create uh, anything here. I know that Krita draws very slowly. So let's see if I get, get it better here. Yeah, it still draws slowly, so the CPU is a bottleneck. Although I think I disabled hardware acceleration when I had the GeForce installed, so I may revisit that. Or maybe I will try just connecting both GPUs and see what happens. So one to give me a usable console and the other one for troubleshooting. But well, let's just bypass this and try to mount my NAS 
Let's see. Um, ah, this is not easy. Let's get out of here. some sort of video there so let's go back to yeah, let's open a file let's go to my mount folder let's go to my public my NAS let's see what happens with the movie file is it gonna crash is it gonna be just fully corrupted well I have audio the gears are still running let's go to H top and yeah the CPU is pretty much gone i know that i think the 6600 has video decoding but according to the nouveau people i think this series doesn't have so i'm fully soft to render now um let's go to um back to the terminal let's do just have a look on the messages this is scrolling quite fast I just want to see if there is any problem regarding the GPU. Yeah, I get the same problem as I get with the um, GeForce. So as you can see there, uh, failed to create kernel channel minus 22 using copy for buffered copies. It got the audio component, which is interesting. Um, but that is not flooding the console with uh, with messages about the the bloody DRM. Let's try. Uh, Okay, disable VJ console. VJ console never comes up because it's open firmware and it's not compatible with the GPU. I get uh, GP107. It failed to load firmware for a few things. It called the frame buffer. Hmm. Let's try. Else PCI, I got uh, the audio device, I got the Quadro, and well, let's see here. I just export, yeah, so it's using the Nouveau Frame Buffer device. So with the GeForce, I'm still better off, uh, probably with acceleration, and I mean, I get usable graphics, but. Let me just export this. And yeah, let's see what I can do get this sorted, guys. Um, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.